everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. This is how you tweet me, this is where I live, and this is what we're talking about today. DML error logging. Well, not really, that's the official title, but there's probably a more accurate alternate title, and that is not totally losing the plot when you are loading data and it goes wrong. Not being the grumpiest, angriest guy in the building when you waste a whole day trying to load dodgy data. And here's the problem. It's the time you lose just staring at the screen waiting for your load to finish. Sure, you might be lucky enough to be using direct load facilities to speed it up, but if you're loading millions of rows from a whopping great fat table, then you're going to be staring at the screen for a while. You'll grab a coffee and then you'll come back and wait some more, and then maybe you'll do some internet banking and then come back and wait some more. But that's okay, the wait will be worth it, because after six hours, that load is finally going to complete and you'll be done. And then you see this. The load failed. All that time and effort just flushed away to nothingness. You really just want to crawl into a hole and cry about it. And here's the most frustrating thing. You probably loaded 99% of that data just fine and then you just hit a couple of bad rows and splat, you've got absolutely nothing to show for it. What we want is to keep the rows that loaded successfully and skip or ignore the bad rows so that at least after six hours, we're 99% done, not 0% done. But there's a problem. How do you know what rows will successfully load? When I'm doing my insert command, how can I possibly know all the checks I would need to do to make sure my statement won't fail? That's hard. And even if somehow I could know all the rules in advance, when the load is done, I still don't know which of the rows were not loaded. So now I have to write another query with the logical opposite of my load statement to try to find and fix all those bad rows. There is a better way, and that way is DML error logging. DML error logging lets you keep the rows that loaded successfully, and not just skip or ignore the bad rows, but track them as part of the load process into an error logging table so that you can review them later. And it's easy to do. All we need is a preliminary step. We use the dbms error log package to create an error logging table before running our load. By default, a table prefixed with err dollar will be created in your schema, but you have total control over that using other parameters in the package call. Let's see what this table looks like. It contains all the columns of your true table, the one you're going to load into, but notice the data types are chosen so we can capture the bad data as well. And we have five additional columns. If we look at the Oracle documentation, we can see what these columns will contain for any bad row found in the load. We will capture the Oracle error number, the error message, the row ID in our source table so we can easily look up any bad row, the operation we are performing because DML error logging works for inserts, updates, deletes and merge commands, and finally an optional tag we can associate with the bad rows. So let's see it in action. I'm going to insert some rows into my M table using some data that's been loaded into a table called new data but I'm pretty dubious on the quality of the data in that table, and with good reason. A quick query on the table shows me I've got a non-numeric employee number, I've got a reference to department number 50, but there's no department number 50 in my organisation, and I'm trying to load employee 7934, but I've already got that employee in my table. So here is my insert statement as before. Let's see that demo now in action on a real database. I've connected a Scott on the database just running on my laptop here, and Here's the data I want to load, the bad data that we saw from the PowerPoint slides. So the first thing I need to do for DML error logging is run my preliminary step to create the error logging table, which I've now done. Here is my insert statement as before, just a normal insert statement. To activate DML error logging, it literally is a simple addenda to the insert command. I've chosen to capture every single bad row, no matter how many I get, but I don't have to. I can just as easily cap that at say 50 if I want to. And then we just run it. And as you can see, we inserted just the one row, okay, not all the other rows, and it didn't crash. The good row is loaded. And now all we have to do is have a look at our error table to discover what rows were not loaded and why. It really is that easy. As I've said, DML error logging can be used for all the data modification statements, but there's a couple of things to note. Firstly, when you use DML error logging, even if there are bad rows, no error is raised. 
You will need to check the error table to see if some rows were not loaded. That's how you work out whether some were rejected. The second thing is performance. Commands with DMO error logging are typically a little slower than not using it at all. That is the compromise you are accepting for not losing six hours of your loading time for no results at all. The performance impact tends to vary by operation, that is whether you're doing an insert, update, delete or merge, and also varies by the version of the database you're using. So make sure you're on a current version. What's probably most important lesson from here is that you benchmark the facility before just slamming it into your production environment. So let's wrap up. DML error logging is all about you spending your time productively. Don't burn hours of server resources and your valuable time only to end up with nothing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all again soon.